Right, so you probably haven't owned a ride on until you've had to pull the bastard apart. Anyway, so <clears throat> literally takes about 10 minutes to pull it off the, off the machine itself. Um, getting the case off after you've undone the nuts and bolts and then you've got the stuck gasket, you're going to go looking for videos. Um, what I've discovered is a knife with a head that you can tap, get it in there and tap it to free up, tap it to free up, tap it to free up, and then, yeah, you probably want four or five screws out, just to get a bit loose, get a bit loose, and all of a sudden it'll just loosen up and then pop off. But what I wanted to show was, if you have a mower that all of a sudden just getting high compression and it wouldn't kick over anymore, like, because these things, they don't have fucking pull starts, it's unbelievable. Anyway, I discovered something and it turned out it was right on the money. It was just, yeah, purely through common denomination to get to the key point of where it's sitting. Now, these, where you've got the rocker valves for the um, inlet and outlet, there's a camshaft. And on the camshaft, do you notice the difference? Anyway, I went looking through the engine. The spring was over here. The other part was over here. This was off. That was off. That is what decompresses the motor so that it can kick over. So if you find you've actually got too much compression so it goes to kick over and stops, camshaft. Really simple replacement. Now hopefully when I get it back in, I haven't fucked it too much and um, it all runs pretty well. Great time to actually degrease the whole lot and make the engine look brand new again. Anyway, there we go.